Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notification instantly. Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learn-automation.com. Today in this video, we'll talk about API testing using Catalon Studio. So if you have been following me, then I have uploaded one video on Catalon Studio. I have uploaded video on Catalon Recorder as well. And till now we have seen like how to automate a normal web application using Catalon. But uh, in this video, we'll talk about how we can do the API testing using Catalon Studio. And uh, before starting, let's see what exactly we are going to cover in this video. So we'll talk about what exactly is new in Catalon Studio 5.4. So if you are using the previous version of Catalan Studio, then it's time to update because they have a new version called 5.4.2 where you will see the API testing in a new UI and they have added so many new features which you can use for your test automation. And we'll also see how to automate REST APIs in Catalan. They also support SOAP, but SOAP we will cover in the upcoming videos. But today in this video, we'll talk about the REST API testing using Catalan and uh, we will also see how we can perform few assertions because a test without assertion is not going to add any value so we'll assert a couple of things like we will verify the responses and if you want to verify a couple of things then you can verify in Catalan okay so I will show you in two different ways either you can validate through UI and you can also validate through coding as well so they have a script tag where you can check the responses or you can write the custom code in the script view okay so let me show you the new catalog okay so just to cross check i am running the latest catalog studio which is 5.4.2 if you have not updated then uh, you can just go to help section and you can check for update and update the new one and if you are completely new to Catalan, then I will highly recommend to watch my one video which I uploaded, uploaded like last year on September, like how to install Catalan Studio and how to run your first script. Okay. And uh, before jumping into this video, I will also recommend you to watch my one of the video on Rest Assured, where I have set up my own server to test my own APIs. Okay. Uh, this is not required right now, but for the next video definitely you have to watch this video because here I have set up my own servers where you can Do the post delete and other commands which you cannot do on the public APIs. So definitely you need a separate uh, Server where you can play with the APIs. Okay, but for this example anyways, we will deal with only get so you don't need this But I will anyways I will use this and some other public APIs as well. Okay, so this is the Catalan Studio, which is the new one 5.4.0 and I already have a project just to start again. I will go and create a fresh project. Okay, from the scratch, so you can see either you can go ahead and create a new project. Okay, uh, which is give, uh, new and project, but uh, I will go and create a sample project for you first and then we will add our own test. So you can see they have web UI mobile and web services just click on this and give a name by default it is going to this location so that's fine I'm not going to change it and I'll say web API testing catalog okay description I will say this project will show you how you can automate APIs It support both again so I will say rest and soap in this video we'll talk about only rest but yes it also support soap so it is creating a fresh project and uh, yes so if you see here we they already have uh, just let me explore each and every package which they have okay so you can see by default they have two test cases one for rest one for soap so if you double click on it, this is the sample test case. Same goes for SOAP as well. For SOAP also, they have a sample test case. They have two object repositories, one for the rest, one for the SOAP. And they already have a regression suite where they have executed all the two test cases. And this profiles and these are the keywords. Right now you can see report and test listeners both are empty and data files also empty. So we'll see how we can um, cover these. Today we'll focus on 
object proposed in the test cases okay so if you don't want to deal with this okay um, okay but before jumping into let me show you one url where you can perform some get operations so this is the public api so if you don't want to set up your own server you can copy this uh, url okay if you translate this uh, this is one api which will give you comments on a specific subject okay so there's the dummy comments so you can see here uh, one comment second comment third fourth and fifth right now you cannot change it because you can only perform get request okay why you cannot perform other operation for that also have uh, already mentioned in one of my video what is the difference between get post delete and how you can use them okay so in one of my video i have mentioned what is the difference between all these methods again you have to watch this video in order to get the complete details so in this post what i will do i will try to assert some of the values okay i will hit this url and i will try to validate couple of things on this page okay so to get started first thing what you need to do just click on this object repository and click on new and click on new web service request so when you create a request here you can see they will ask you which type of uh, type it is so it is either rest or soap since we are working with rest today and request also i will see a uh, verify comments okay so okay and the url so url i will add this and description i will say this api will help us to fetch this is optional thing but still i will write to fetch the comments when you click on ok it will launch a very beautiful ui and you can see it has two section one is how you want to send the data and another is how you want the response now if you have working with catalon then you must have seen they have a different ui in the previous versions they were not having this uh, beautiful response tab but now they have where you can see the status code and the response also in a different formats and another part is you can see you whatever parameter you will pass it will come here you can also add the custom parameters if you wish okay it will also come but by default whatever parameters you have it will by default list here okay and you can also change this which kind of uh, protocol you want so you want get post put delete so as of now we are dealing with get so when you click on this execute it will ask you first do you want to save say yes and it will send the request and you can see whatever response we got in the browser we are able to see here as well right you can see the status code 200 okay total time 969 millisecond which is less than a se second and size is 2 kb you can also see they have different options since the response is coming in the JSON format and you can also see this okay. by default it is coming in a pretty format and these are the header details header details like how it is communicating with the server so you can see the response code okay content type date and other details okay so this is our test and now we have simply verified the data and it is coming fine now we need to perform a couple of validations as well right you can also see they have header section body section this will help you when you want to perform some post operation or put operation that we will see in the next video in this video we are not going to deal with the body section and the header section since we don't need any authentication so i will keep this as no authorization but uh, you can see they have no authorization basic and oauth 1.0 okay that's a different story when you have to go with authentication and authorization then all you need is a customer key secret token key secret okay so as of now let's deal with this verify comment i will keep this as uh, no authorization okay so now let's go and let's create our first test case using catalon studio what I will do first of all I will do right click and I will say test case and I will say verify response code 
okay you can see this particular test case is added right now i don't have anything here so if you go to script tag right now they don't have any code all other import statements okay at these variable tabs integration we have not integrated and that anyways is the just a property so in order to start you need to add a web service keyword and the keyword already they have listed okay so the first keyword which is the mandatory thing you need to call send request okay and then you need to select which object you want to select so anyways we created this verify comment so i will double click on it and i will select this particular uh, get request okay if you want to add any additional parameter you can add but for us we don't need and that's all okay you can also see that import output and the description for this i don't think we need any input but yes we need to store the output in a particular variable so i will say a var1 or uh, variable so whatever request it will send the server to the server it will get all the response in this particular variable okay now if you go to script tag you can see internally it is calling one method called send request it is finding that object that we created and whatever response it will get it will store in a var variable okay now let's go ahead and again go to manual mode second keyword which i want to add i will go add a web service keyword and my test says i need to verify the response code okay what should the input you can see here response object which object so first of all we need to select a variable and you can see we have given var here right so i will say that go to that var variable and check whether we have expected result as 200 or not okay so you can see expected code integer number should be 200 if any other number apart from 200 it should fail okay so whatever we have till now it will store all the result in the var variable and we are expecting response code as 200 let's run this code okay so if you want to go and check if you go to manual you can see they already have a method called verify response status code which will go and return you the restore to score and it will verify as well okay they have given very beautiful uh, commands and uh, description as well so you can see for each and every keyword or the method which we are using they have written a complete documentation you can see here okay so definitely i will suggest you can go and check all the responses and the requests which they have created okay so go to this web services and you will see the method which they have created okay so let's uh, go and run this you can see this run button just run this and you can see this is a log viewer and it is doing all this operation one by one and yes test pass okay these are the default messages which they print but if you want you can also add your own comments so it performed actually two operations one is it is sending a request and it is checking the response code okay uh, if you want to cross check just make this as 500 now ideally it should fail because we are expecting 200 and uh, if the final we are expecting 500 actually and the response code is coming 200 so ideally it should fail you can see here uh, i'm trying to update it's not updating i see it's a, a small bug but anyways we have the script tag so i will just go here and update in the script and now you can see it got updated since uh, it's a new feature so they are still working on it okay but anyways we have done through script tag and now let's run this and it is running our test and ideally it should fail and yes it failed and if you see the message which they have given it's quite easy to understand expected status code is 500 but actual status code is 200 okay so it means it is trying to validate and somehow it is not able to validate okay and it failed so this is how you can do the basic first operation okay 
Now let's create one more test because this one only verifies the response code but we also want to verify the intent which is coming from that particular post. Okay, You can see it's the JSON file and uh, if you want to see this JSON in a very beautiful format we have a JSON viewer where you can paste the JSON and click on the viewer uh, just a minute okay I guess we have translated just because of that show original copy and paste okay you can see now it is coming in this format and you can see this response have the actual five section is nothing but a five comments uh, ID name email and the body Okay, now I, I want to verify the email ID of the fourth one. Okay, fourth is nothing but the index is three zero one two three. These are the indexes. So let's say I want to verify the fourth record name should be Elias. Okay, for this also they have a separate keyword. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, it's up to you. Do you want to add the same? Um, at the step in the same test case or you want to create a new test case for you I will create a new test case so that you will be familiar with this tool I will say verify content okay it's quite easy you don't need uh, much coding uh, because they have already integrated through UI so just click on send request object I will use the same so okay if you wish you can also create a new web service where you can select that verify data and the URL you can use just a minute if you say fourth one Comment ID 4. Okay, no problem. You can use the same. Maybe I will delete it. It's not even required. Because with the same response, I will try to fetch the details. Okay. So verify the content and here send this, capture this. Response I will keep in where to. You can give the where again because they are independent but still I have given where to and if you come here and add a new service keyword you will find verify you can see already they have so many verify checkpoint text count property value equals greater than less than I will check verify element property value it means I have to provide key and they have to provide me the value if both are matching it means my test pass if you see here double click on this it will ask you where is the response object okay so I will click on variable and the response object is where to now the locator now you must be wondering I am working with API testing and why we need locator then in API testing also we need to locate the data right so in if you go with the web UI testing we have xpath CSS ID name x and uh, partial link text link text tag name in the same way we also have XML path and JSON path as well here okay so what I will do uh, we will discuss this in detail I am trying to find okay fourth record so and fourth record also I am looking for a property called name so what we can do we can give here you need fourth record and then you are looking for name okay and the value what we are expecting we are expecting alias audio set okay and just click on ok and if you want to cross verify just go on the script mode and you can see this method which actually they have written it expect response locator and the value so anyways response whatever we have we have passed here locator that we are looking for fourth record and name property and this is what the value we are looking if both works fine okay it will execute 
if the x path is correct then it will simply give me result otherwise it will throw me some groovy scripting error okay it says something let's see what exactly the error is expect expected element property value is not equal to the actual property value okay you can see here it is coming something like this actually it was in a different language you can see it's coming zero some it's in different language right because we have translated this okay okay it's because of the translation issue nothing else but you can see here we are getting the same uh, like we are able to fetch the specific property just to avoid confusion let me take id id will remain same in different languages so what i will do i will change this to name or id and you can see id should be 4 okay, if you wish you can take this as a okay string no problem click on 4 okay and let's run this and it is running the script if you have been working with soap ui and other you can verify okay it says okay actual is coming five and we are expecting four okay since we are working with index then ideally i should keep three here because zero stand with uh, zero record is nothing but this so i'm looking fourth one so ideally i should give zero one two three okay so let's save this and run this again just to cross verify yes we are looking for the fourth record id should be four yes let's run the script again and yes this test case also passed so you have seen how to verify the response code how to verify the specific content already they have a couple of methods which you can explore so if you just go and type the method ws dot verify you can see they have written a very beautiful method and you will also see a beautiful description for each and every method so greater than less than equal to not equal to verify the response code you can also verify in the range verify the text count property everything okay so you can explore this in this example i have only explored very basics okay but very useful these are the day-to-day -day tasks which we do and uh, in case if you want to get the reports then what we need to just go to test suit let's create a net new test suit and i will say it's a api test i click on ok and i will select the two test cases which we created now okay and now i will run this test suit so it will run the two test cases which we created today and you will see this is running our test and yes our test completed now if you go and refresh the report section you will get a nice report and this is what we have so these are the two test cases okay execution setting environment settings and if you see the test cases detail you will see here okay so in upcoming videos i will also show you how you can integrate your catalon studio with catalon analytics because they also have very beautiful analytics where you can integrate and it will directly upload your test results okay this is how exactly we do in uh, qc and Jira as well like once your test is done automatically it will go and update your test cases okay you can see so that we will discuss uh, in upcoming videos as of now i have only the get request for this video so in the next video i will talk about post delete and for that we need a separate server so i will set up my own server and then we'll discuss about the different operations okay 
So that's all I have for this video. Hope you enjoyed this new Catalan um, feature. And if you have any feedback, then let me know in the comment section. If you have, st if you still have not subscribed my channel, then hit the subscribe button and like this video, share with your friends. And in case if you have any other doubt, you can share or uh, ask any question to my email ID, which is mukesh at one at the Thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.